hello and welcome to my channel this is Tosin's university and today we're going to be taking a topic on the series dealing with difficult emotions today's topic is dealing with disappointment yeah it's a personal favorite of mine i i i, I tend to get disappointed easily i don't know if i'm the only one right from as little things as someone telling me oh we're going to do this today. Oh, my French teacher telling me classes for 6 p.m. And by 6.15, I'm waiting on a call and she's not there. What's happening? Or standing in a queue, a long queue, and you're waiting and means your turn. Either the cashier is closed or POS is not working. Now, it's getting annoying for some of you. For me, it gets to a new, a new height. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm having it as the first topic we're going to discuss on the series dealing with difficult emotions now why do we even have an emotion that is called disappointment we have this emotion because we have set we have set expectations to happen and then we are let down when they do not happen sometimes there are bigger deals than just within the queue they are projects that we have invested in, you know, put in our life savings. And at the point, we expect good returns. And then we're hearing stories. And so for some people, it's really devastating because it's beyond stories that touch. It affects their whole entire lives. It's the same message. Being disappointed is an emotion that arises from being let down from your set expectations. Now, is it wrong to have set expectations? No. Absolutely not. It's not a bad thing to set expectations. These expectations, how are they being set? to acknowledge when dealing with disappointment is that you are disappointed. You acknowledge the emotion. You validate your own feeling of disappointment. Now, it's easy for people around you not to get how you're feeling. That's fine because people respond to different situations in different ways, absolutely different ways. But you cannot let anybody undermine the way you're feeling because you're feeling it specifically to you. So the first step, validate how you're feeling. It is absolutely okay to feel disappointed. Now the next step is to analyze it yourself, find out with yourself, take a quiet corner, think about it in a curious manner, in an investigative manner, asking questions about why did this person do that or why did this situation happen? But asking the real question, why did this hurt me so much? Why did I feel so let down by this action or by this situation or by this person? Why do I feel disappointed by this? in a curious manner like i mentioned before not in a judgmental manner not in a oh i made that mistake again kind of manner but in trying to really get to the root of why this really matters to you for it to hurt you the way it does in trying to understand you know why you're disappointed and why this affects you so much you need to understand the triggers in this situation what happened did you borrow someone money and someone you thought was you know had integrity and would pay you as it went you and then the person did not pay you not only did not pay you was nonchalant about it and you're like ah, hey. hmm. you really need to understand the trigger was the trigger that the person didn't pay you which will not be the first or that you made him you had a perception that the person had integrity and would pay you and you were let down disappointed by that fact that you misjudged the person or the fact that the person was nonchalant about it and there was a lack of communication you know somebody people will ask you please i need more time but this one didn't even bother maybe you're a rich man's um, daughter that's why so you really need to understand you know the cost of why so that's why i said you look at this emotion in a curious manner. Another thing to look out for when you're dealing with disappointment is to see if you have set um, expectations that are a tad unrealistic. 
I get upset when people say unrealistic expectations. Maybe not upset, but I feel like because they don't believe on faith. Them. Yeah. And then you want to have faith. Christians will understand this. Or you want to have faith, like the Bible talks about it, you know. So you want to dream big. Ah, that's what they call it. You want to dream big. And then your expectations are dashed because time, you still need time, even in your dreaming big. How do you manage that? Maybe, maybe you people can help me with that one. <laughs> I'm still working on that. Yeah, so but in understanding disappointment, we have to also realize that time plays a part in how time and how we set our expectations, our goals play a part in why we get disappointed. It's the reason why we achieve a lot in five years, but we would rather set only one year goals. Every year you set a goal, every year you set a goal, whereas you know literally in your mind or the back of your mind that you need a minimum of 24 months to achieve that goal. Could it be that indirectly you're, 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 you're setting expectations like that? So you set yourself up for disappointment. But then again, there's a flip side to it. And the flip side is, this is life. Things happen. Shit happens. You can do everything you're meant to do and something else will still go wrong. Shit happens. Did you accommodate that in your plans? Did you think, okay, what if something happens? Let me give a bit more space. Or you were just positive, 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 positive all the way. You really have to create room so that your heart can, you know, cannot be too hit when things like this happen. So disappointment is telling you this may have happened and realistic expectations, shit may have happened. People may have disappointed you, but you as a whole need to understand, was it that they, they messed with your values? Was it, why, why did it pain you so much? Was it that they don't keep to time and time is a big deal for you? You know, it tells you about yourself if you really want to. And it allows you to know, okay, I need to understand that the world, everyone is not like me. Some people are not going to keep to time if you like, even if their lives depended on it. Even if their lives depended on it. You're going to have to give room for their own personalities in your plans so that you don't get disappointed. Dealing with disappointment. This is Tosin's University and I am Tosin Alimi. If you have not already subscribed, now is a good time to subscribe to my channel. Don't get disappointed. Click the, <laughs> Click the subscribe button and follow my channel. In trying to avoid getting disappointed, some of us have resorted to living average lives, you know, doing or avoiding any situation that is going to make us or allow us experience the emotion disappointment. We've decided not to love too deeply or love at all. We've decided to set low hanging goals you know, so that we can achieve them. Overall, we live life on the fence so we don't get hurt. We don't experience that, that, that gut-wrenching feeling of being disappointed. But then again, we don't experience love. Then again, we don't know how much better we can be. Then again, we don't achieve much more just because we're avoiding the emotion of disappointment. How about... We decide to be a little vulnerable. Yeah, I know. But it also comes with enjoying life to the fullest and being human. So let's plan to explore life as a whole. Let's, you know, experience joy and sadness and reach a balance. And if you need more help, you can seek professional help. Disappointment is just a difficult emotion. It's not a bad emotion. And in, in learning about, I've come to learn more about myself, you know, I've come to learn things that are important to me that are not important to other people. I've seen why, oh, this gets to me more than this. And I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed when people do this. So it means that I value this. It helps me know my values. It helps me not to play with it. It helps me to give room for other people like, oh, this person may not keep to time. Let me give them a 15 minutes gap 
or let me check on them. They haven't forgotten this, you know. It helps me better manage people or work with people that are not like me. I mean, for me, it's interesting to understand something like disappointment, considering that, yeah, I still experience it. But now I know that or I'm learning that it's a part of life. People are different. It means different things to different people. And some things are very, very important. So I'll encourage you not to leave on the fence, but to try and explore life more. Get those or feel those emotions that you rather not feel. Understand them, get the message, and of course, optimize them. I hope you have learned a thing or two about dealing with disappointment, like I have in preparing for this and in living my life. <laughs> Do remember to subscribe to my channel and leave Let your comment motion you would like me to talk about next or deal with. <laughs> Please leave comments. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of Tosun's University. And if you're not, make sure you subscribe. Do have a great day. Bye.